subscribe to our youtube channel and hit on bell icon to get the latest updates on qa automation side welcome back so let's continue and create constructor for this class so we just realized that it do not have any constructor with one argument so let's click on this which will take us to the travel home page and you see that it created constructor for us by default so now this driver is coming from your actual test isn't it so the driver what you created have life here that life driver you are sending to this class which falls here so from here you have to assign this driver to your local variable okay because the scope of this argument will be inside this block only so how this will get activated so this will get activated only if this driver life is sent to this local variable because this one is pointing to this local variable so that's why this dot driver when you say this dot driver this refers to current class variable okay this dot driver refers to this and this is the one we got from our constructor right so let's assign like this so that when you create object of this travel home page class automatically this constructor will be called and the driver also will get assigned to your local variable so from here driver travels through the subsequent page components okay this is how you have to form connection from your driver ultimately the driver what you defined here will reaches the abstract component with the chaining connection which i just explained in the last lecture okay nice so once you have a driver ready what next so you you have object with you using this object first you will load the url in the browser go to is a method this method will help you to land on that web page because driver we are getting from our test nice now what next so from here you have to click on that flights so in your footer navigation you have a method which will help you to select that flight so where exactly that select flight we want to handle that is in footer page right footer navigation so from travel home page to access anything in the footer navigation first you have to get object of that class footer navigation class you can get the object of that class with the help of get footer navigation you see that when you call this method the driver and that section element everything is sent and object will be created for you okay so once object is created that is returning the object so once you have the object of that class you can directly access any method of that class with object dot so as it is returning object dot select flight um right now if it just clicks on that flight it does not make anything because it's a dummy application and it's just open in another window right so for us to understand that it's exactly identifying this let's have another check instead of click because click here does not do anything it's still loading the same page so for you to exactly understand that it's not clicking here because both almost does same this one will load this page again and this one is loading this page in new tab okay so these are not much differentiated so instead of click if you try to spy here um this is the title right let's try to use get attribute okay on this title flights i will say get attribute of class so that in my output group hyphen traveler should come and here also there is a flights where is the title equals to flights here and here class is selected so the class for this flight option is selected and class for this flight option is group traveler okay so now let's try to print that attribute of class and see what our framework gives us whether it gives us this one or this one okay so that would be interesting because click does not make much sense at this point so i would say dot get attribute of class items and let's try to print it so in the output you will see what's happening guys so the goal of this complete course is to show best practices and design patterns but not automating an end to end flow or creating a project with a number of test cases i will give you the quality code and you can take this code and build your own test cases okay 
so now come back to demo test and now if i run this test what should be my output from travel home page we are going to footer section and from there we are selecting the flight select flight or you can say get flight attribute you can rename this so that you will know what exactly this does so get flight attribute and let's see what attribute we are getting in the output okay so i will run this test very quick right click run the demo test and then it should open the chrome browser land on the website and it gets the flight attribute for us let's see okay so one test passed and let's go to the output and you see that group hyphen traveler is printed in the output so that means our search happened in that section only so we have successfully accomplished a task of restricting selenium scope to this section only isn't it so if you do in a normal framework with the driver dot get me the flight attribute of this css selector and you do dot get attribute the output what you get is on the header one which is select but in our case we got the output as group traveler so that means not only your classes and methods your selenium also have successfully switched to this specific section and all the methods present in this section it is spying only on that section scope level okay now to appreciate and to understand the difference in the next lecture let's fill up all this navigation bar on the top header bar related information and the same code let's repeat instead of on get footer nav i will repeat that on navigation bar and i will use same method and same page object this time i should get the output as a select because select is a class attribute for navigation bar without changing any code just i will change this class name and that should give me the header but not footer you see that how we are switching the magic of uh, restricting selenium scope don't worry i will give you a few more examples and then you will really appreciate what we are doing here let us try to organize all the files what we have created until now okay so that you will have clear understanding of what exactly each and every file is doing here so let me create one package so main page objects here right now we have only one page object which is a base travel home page okay and on that base home page we have built multiple page components see try to identify the difference this is the base and complete page on that page this page got splitted into multiple components and for each component we created one class because we followed the principle of single single design pattern according to that principle we are splitting and sharing the responsibilities for multiple classes so these are page components and this is the main page isn't it so let's mention that clearly so that you know we will clearly know what exactly each file is doing so right click new package so i will create a new package and i will call it as a page components and all subsections or uh, directed classes whatever we have here from main class will go into that page components folder so i'll cut it and i'll place inside this package so you can call this as a package or folder whatever you want both are almost comes under same terminologies okay so i'm moving into page components and at the same time i'm also refactoring so that it should take care all the packages importing right so now all page components are part of this package okay and this is like main page right and if you have four pages in your application for each and every page you should have one main page like this and from this page it will be directed to page components so let's have a new package and define that as a main page objects page objects and under that page object this travel home page will go all right refactor good and here right now we created abstract component in the later lectures we will also create interfaces okay so all these abstractions 
interface is nothing but we are doing an abstraction and here we created abstract class so all these abstract related stuff let's put into separate package and let's name it as abstract components so that you know you can easily refer new package and i will call it as abstract components awesome and i'll push this file into this package and i will refactor it nice so you can delete this this is not required this comes by default when you uh, create this maven project okay now it looks little clean right so this is a page object and this is directing to components and supported by abstract components nice so with this we have done a basic setup and now let's write one test case and see how we can create that test using these components page object and abstract components okay so for that let's go to the test package and i will create one new test let me call it as um let's say demo test demo test and we will write a test based upon test ng so right now we don't have test ng uh, jar because if you go to pom.xml you have j unit but let's use test ng as our framework to run the test case so you can remove it and add test ng so you know how to do that right it's easy like you can go to your browser and just ask to get maven test ng dependency and you will have a lot of suggestions here so go to their official repository and you can select any version whatever you want so this is the stable right now i will use this okay so we have to build a project after you have put it in your pom.xml you can reload the project so then it will again scan pom.xml and whatever dependencies it sees it will bring it and place it in your repository you see that error is gone awesome so test ng is also ready in your system so now you can just go ahead and get started so let's write one basic method public void um what are we doing here uh, flight test something like this so move your cursor and you have to import test ng not j unit package here so import class so that will give you the test ng okay so we will get started with our uh, base test so first we need to invoke driver to do all these see um, invoking driver you can bring it from separate class that we will take care in the later part of this course so right now i will directly provide a uh, system properties and chrome driver invocation here so generally we will take it from base class just like how these page components are inherited from abstract components now this page component is getting basic information from abstract component right similarly for your demo test also you can have one base test and from that base test you can get this driver stuff we will do that later let me write one standalone test because our goal now first is to see if these are properly working i will come back and optimize this part okay so driver dot get we have to hit that url to navigate that web page right so that web page basically we will land on this travel home page so we can give that url here so let me define one method um public void i can say go to this method should take us to that uh, specific web page so here i will define driver dot get and give the url of that application what we are trying to practice and awesome and now come back to your demo test and first you need to create object of this travel home page and then you can say object dot get go to so that you can call this method right it looks easy for us isn't it so travel home page i'm just creating object for the travel home page
and here comes one trick so you have to send driver as an argument because till last lecture we assume that test case will give us the driver and that driver will be responsible in invoking all your main page object and also this driver is passed to the subsequent page components okay so but where is this driver this driver do not have any life now the life of driver is here oh let me delete this app test i am repeatedly clicking this okay so driver life is here because we clearly given that invoke chrome driver this driver should come and should be sitting here if it sits here from here we are nicely sending it to all page components after we send that driver to page components from here it is going to abstract components and after it comes to abstract component here it's doing driver dot find element and then accessing elements in your web page so ultimately driver dot find element is hitting in your abstract component so abstract component receives it from your page components page components get driver from a uh, travel home page but here also there is no life we have to send life to this base page from your test case okay so send the driver what you created from here to your travel home page now it will throw an error because um, the default constructor we did not create any constructor here so basically we are saying that create an object of travel home page with one argument okay so object creation is done with one argument if there are no arguments that means default constructor will be called but if you send an argument then you should explicitly define one constructor with an argument in your travel home page which is missing now that's why it's complaining one related problem you see that and now let's fix this problem by creating constructor in our from our next lecture all right thank you guys subscribe to our youtube channel and hit on bell icon to get the latest updates on qa automation side